All right, good morning, good morning, good morning. In true retrograde fashion, it looks like my full moon email yesterday did not go out explaining the energy of this full moon and things you could do last night. So I will, it is in the teacher site, but I will also uh, repost that energy for you. I noticed this morning, like, why didn't that go out? And I don't know. Good old retrograde. So yes, we are in retrograde combined with all this energy of the moon, the Aquarius super blue full moon, super because it's very close to the earth, blue because it's the fourth. It's not like we need another emotional moon, but we have it. So it is an opportunity to bring all that light into us. This morning, one of the things I had mentioned last night was to get up early and go outside and look in the skies for this morning because there's so many things you can see. I could see Mars, I could see Jupiter, the Pallades were a little bit visible, the moon was over on one side, Saturn's over there. So many things in our skies, so much shifting and changing going on. And this energy is beaming down to us. So I stood there, this is something Reiki 2 teaches us, I stood there with my hands opening and it's just like, okay, let's feel that stream of energy, feel that shifting. We all know we need change. We all know it. So allow the stars. They've been here for eons. The moon is guiding us to come in and we receive this energy. You can put your intentions out there and then you can turn around. We do this in our star class where you send energy to the earth. You kind of keep these two little fingers down and like, like you kind of send it out this way to the earth. And as you do, it just starts to spread. So all of the abilities that we have to open up, to go with the flow is really being activated under this full moon. We're going to go into the eclipse next month. So you think, you think July and August has been intense. September is going to really stir things up truthfully all the way to the elections. All right. In our country, all the way to the elections. And there is change. There is shifting going on. You can feel a little uncertain. You can feel a little raw. Like, can I really do this? Should I really do this? And maybe it's just changes within the way in which you show up. Maybe it's not asking you to go change your job or change your career or change your marriage, right? Maybe it's not of none of that, but it's kind of some of those unseen changes within ourselves, how we can show up, how we can let go of the self doubt and the worries and the fears and recognize that there is so much abundance around us, so much creativity that we can grow. It's like Reiki teaches us. It's such a creative force of energy. And so our electromagnetic fields are being impacted. We had all those surges. They're still posting amazing pictures of the lights and the showers and all that energy that's coming into our earth and to us. So with this light of the super moon, it's like, pull it in. Allow the idea of the element of water, right? The moon controls our water to really wash through you so that you can release the stuck energy. It's okay to cry, right? Last night, there was one of the, she was a great speaker. She was crying. That's okay, right? We are at this dawning of energy. It's a time to break through. So allow yourself to upgrade your into it, your intentions that you want to set. All right. And everybody's like, aren't you supposed to release under the full moon? Yes. But first we have to open up. So you have two and a half days to open up to that fullest. So get outside, put your feet on the earth. I suggested to that. Perhaps you set up an altar around your bed, like put one around there, get your journal there so that when you can ask for these dreams to come in. And then as soon as you wake up journal, write down, receive guidance of your soul. That's when it's going to come in in those early hours before you really come back out and start getting all busy. And we want to notice where we are right now. Late summer can be tiring. I know the kids are starting back to school. So there is a sense of newness going on, but maybe you feel more, a little bit of the drained energy, the growth, the heat. This morning was so refreshing getting outside. And that's what we want to do. Start to just tune into refreshing our energy to renewing the way we feel. We have about another week and a half of retrograde. So we're kind of still in that renew, review, redo energies. So allow yourself to really renew, tune in to your soul's energy under the light of this moon. 
So as we move through the meditations, I'll give you some time to write out your intentions. If you have some crystals, allow the crystals to be in this energy with you to hold that vibration of energy for you as we move through the rest of this cycle of energy. Set your intentions. Maybe you have the ones from the new moon. I actually have new intentions. Pretty much totally new. There are a few that I've already written mine out. There are a few that are kind of continual, continue some of the bigger goals, but I have so many new intentions that I was writing out this morning. It felt so much clarity coming in for me. What about for you? What about for you and the way in which you want to bring forward your energy for this cycle and then right into the fall? We'll be moving into that transitional energy as well, but really a good idea to ground. You can ground with Mother Earth, which we always talk about, but right now under this light of the moon and all these shifts and changes, think about grounding in your soul. You know, when we set up our spirit to spirit, we talk about coming into the deepest part of your heart. That's where you can ground into your soul. And really that's where I go like this, because that's where you want to open up and manifest from. Not here, not in the mind, because in our everyday hustle and going on, we put all these things that counter what our soul wants to do. I want to do this. I'm not good enough. Oh, can I really do it? And every time you do it from the mind, from the intellect, that's pretty much what the universe picks up. But when we can drop into that connection, your soul, the greater soul, that's where we co-create. So we want to ground in the soul this morning. And as you're writing your intentions, as you're seeing and feeling and hearing, let it come from the deepest part in here. And then as we do that breathing, we're going to imagine that you're releasing through energy. Again, try to drop out of the mind into the heart through your auric field to program your aura front, side, back, side, all around you with the intentions of what you're setting. So we're at the end of this cycle for the summer. It is a time to open up. Notice what the transitions are because fall is about harvesting, harvesting what you desire, harvesting what you've been working on. I know for me, be a little vulnerable here. I know for me, the abundance is coming through and a lot of the unseen. All right. So sometimes we think, oh, it's not working. It's not working because we don't see it in the physical form. But what we want to do is open up to that soul energy to guide us through. All right, so we're going to begin with calling in the elements, our spirit to spirit. Have a piece of paper, something to write your intentions down. And then we're going to come into the heart, like we're saying, and open up through those intentions. So if you can find something to light. Calling in the element of fire. Feeling that spark of energy within you. Notice the colors. Notice the fire, allowing that element of fire to open up to the element of air with the smoke, clearing the mind, clearing the space, calling in the element of water to wash through you. With this light of the moon, the element of water moves through our emotions, opens the heart, calling in the element of earth, grounding, centering, taking a deep inhale, breathing up the body. And as you exhale, just bring that breath all the way down, slowing down, taking another deep inhale, breathing up the body. Exhale, call all your energy into you, call it in all the energy as you exhale down. Inhaling, breathing up the body. And as you exhale, start to bring that alignment in, the spiritual body right on top of the physical, the emotional, the mental bodies, all centering, grounding, focusing. Taking another deep inhale, breathing up the body. And now as you exhale, drop into the heart right into that deepest part feeling that connection of your spirit and the greater spirit this is your soul's work right here 
the God spot, we call it, source, creator. Know that you are loved, guided, protected. Feeling all this energy coming in as we call in the masters, the teachers, the archangels, the crystal beings. Calling in your higher self to align right on top of the crown. Feeling all this energy coming in for you. Taking a moment and noticing where you are on this great wheel of life. Here where I am, we find ourselves in the last part of summer, the direction of the south, where we have been growing, allowing that divine feminine to open up, expanding our boundaries. Notice. Calling the directions to the south, the west, the north, and the east, above us, below us, deep into that deepest part of your heart, right here. Take a moment, just close the eyes, breathing in, right into that deepest part of your heart. What do you notice for you? Holding that vibration in your heart, allow yourself now to expand the heart, open up the aura, front side, back side. Exhale, bring the aura back in. Inhale, expanding your energy, your vibration of light, bringing it back into the heart. Returning to the vertical breath, up the body. Exhale, down. All around you, breathe. Right here into the deepest part of your heart. Noticing. The intentions for you to set, imagining that full moon right above your head. All of this light, the reflection of the sun comes through the moon, all the planets streaming through you into your heart. This universal energy is all around, just calling in the Reiki energy, letting it start to stream through you as well. Taking this time now to set those intentions, each one, Using the idea, I am, I receive. See yourself, feel yourself in these intentions right from the heart. Each one, let it ride out and then let it expand out. Breathe back in, next intention. All of this energy coming forward right into your heart. And as you set to write your energies, we use the Reiki two symbols. Setting it out into time and space. The hunch and say shonen, hunch and say shonen, hunch and say shonen. I am intending. And you were asked to release any obstacles that may come your way with the sehaki, sehaki, sehaki. Removing, cutting cords that may get into your way. Pure light, that's what we want. Focusing on the heart, the intentions for you. Continue writing. Allow them to open up. Giving them power. Shogurei, shogurei, shogurei. We're setting the R. We're programming the energy all around us from the heart keep dropping into the heart with each intention that you write i am and then feel yourself in that energy from your soul shifting and changing programming the energy you want to receive Staying very centered, very focused, right into the heart. Take a deep inhale in the heart with these intentions that you're writing. Pausing in the heart. And now release. And again, inhale, pausing in the heart. Release. See yourself 
Feel yourself. Know these to be true. Vibration of love. Money is love. Love is money. Abundance. Currency. Receive. Receive. Under the light of the moon and the planets, the star people all shining with us. This is the time to activate your soul's work. Breathe. Sending Reiki out. Let it program all through you. The energy of Jupiter is expansion. See yourself stepping forward into these dreams. The energy of Uranus all around us too, breaking up the old habits, the old patterns. It's okay. Mars is a little fire. There's actually a lot of Mars going on right now. Let it burn away. The doubt, the fears, the not good enoughs. Forget perfect. Just continually open the heart with each intention. And now if you have finished writing your intentions, open up the hands through your aura and just imagine you're programming your aura with the light of this moon the vibrations of the planets and the stars, the star people knowledge, it is time to awaken to new possibilities, to stepping out of your comfort zone. Not a time to play small. What is your purpose right now? From your heart, feel this energy, inhaling and exhaling. Inhaling and exhaling. Charging the aura. Feel the radiance of your soul. Notice. And we pull all this energy back into the heart. Taking a moment to just tap it right into the body. Right here at the eyebrows, tapping it in. I am receiving cheeks bringing this beautiful vibration into the physical body point to point get the get the thymus get underneath the armpits a few rounds of just tapping it in uniting your energy in a unified flow of energy releasing the excess stress of the day i am manifesting i am living my dreams Whatever your intentions are, bring them through the body through tapping on these points. I am creating new possibilities. I am love, light, manifesting. I am healthy. I am happy. I am living my soul's purpose each day i am healthy i am happy i am the light take a nice deep inhale finishing right here at the karate chop i choose to love and accept myself no matter what take a deep inhale my yoga teacher doing a and exhale Notice how you feel. Bringing the hands up to the heart. Gratitude. Gratitude for our cosmic forces. They keep us moving round and round and round. Gratitude for the spirit. The connection to the greater spirit. Gratitude for setting these intentions and showing up for you. Inhaling. 
and exhaling all the way down deep into the earth. Feel yourself grounding. Notice the solar plexus nice and strong with your power, your intentions. Notice the heart opening, the third eye focused. And as you're ready, blinking the eyes back open. Coming back. Take these intentions with you out through the rest of this month into the fall. Thanks for joining me to your spirit. Again, I apologize for the emails. Namaste.